All right, now the Alice suit. Let's start from the beginning. To spawn the Alice suit, you have to go to your fleet manager in your hangar. You cannot spawn this Alice suit in the public ASOP terminal outside your own personal hangar or any other ground vehicle spawn locations. Wow! I need a binocular just to see. You guys probably already watched a lot of videos about the suit. I have not, because I want to experience this thing for the very first time. It looks really cool. This gives me the vibes. Aileen, the movie, the, the very old one. I forgot her name. Getting on? Wow. I love the animation. If this suit is a success, we must, we need another suit for combat, another suit for mining, another suit for whatever. Give us more suits for different purposes. Oh. Press shift. You can actually walk a little faster. Pacific Rim. I can't, I cannot jump. I see the box. Oh, no way, this far? Whoa! Oh! Oh! So, it's automatic. When you see the green silhouette highlighted, you just one-click the left mouse button. That's it, one-click, leave it. It will automatically track the box above you, like this. And then, you look for... A place you want to put it for the green silhouette and then one left click button that's it so two clicks that's it one click drag it and look for the place to place another click it will place right there it's actually quite far so i want to see how far this can go We're not too far from a titan suit. Let's see. Oh, wow. So, quickly, one click, second click. It's automatic. Oh, this is cool. All right, now let's do some serious testing. So this is a 32 SU box. Let's see how far I can place this box. How far can it go? So, let me see the controls. You cannot hold left alt to send the tractor beam. You cannot control the tractor beam at all. Okay, holding up. This is a 32 SU box. Let's see how far can it go. There is a range. So all you need to do is just move your mouse slowly and find the place that you want to place this box. For example, right there. How far is that? You see, I moved a little bit further. That's red. I can't pr place it. Place it right there. So it will just send the box automatically after you clicked another left mouse button. And you can't do anything before it places. Yeah, it just placed that box. How far is that box? I'm not sure. So let me get off this. Okay, so let's measure how far is that thing. Oh, I don't know. I honestly don't know how far is that thing. Because uh, my, my handheld track beam, the max lift, will not reach that far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this box at 50 meters right there. Okay, so that's 50 meters. Come here. Still, still cannot reach. So let's go another 50 meters. Okay, right there. So this is 100 meters now. All right, let's go another 50 meters. 150 meters right here now 47 meters so very very close to 200 meters for a 32 su box you can place with the alice suit wow that's insane 200 meters i'm not gonna test every single size because i tested the 32 seu but I think it also depends on the weight. 
for a 32 ICU, the weight is only 31 tons. I'm going to see if I can tractor this thing with my max lift. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, let me see how far can I tractor this uh, Alice suit with max lift. Oh, range warning. Range warning. 83 meters. 83.7 meters. I can tractor the Alice suit with the max lift. It's pretty far, but the movement speed is really slow. Personally, I love this. It's what a, what a useful and fancy toy this is. But imagine we put some serious weapons for mining, for combat. Man, that's going to be really cool. Imagine if you put a thrusters in the back. You can just do a jump. There's so much potential for this thing. All right, the next test. Can this Alice tractor a ship or not? There we go. I can connect with my tractor beam, but uh, I can't move it anywhere. No, I can't move it. Can you lift it up? No, you can't. You literally cannot use this for ships. Okay, so this is a Tumbler Cyclone MT. I have tractored it. Oh! I'm actually moving this vehicle. Very slowly. I... Lift it up. Rotate. Oh, I can also rotate. Hold R to rotate this thing. And let me try using my max lift. Yeah, I think max lift is a lot easier. More efficient. Alright, now the really fun test begins. We're gonna be testing what vehicles can we fit this Alice. Okay, so this is the Avenger Titan. Inside here, can I? I cannot. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, let me use the uh, max lift. What? Wait, what? Wow, this is uh, magic. Star Citizen magic again. It magically disappeared. So. I think the problem of fitting the Alice suit into a Titan is I cannot rotate the Alice suit. It only stands upward like this. I try to rotate it, there's no way. So I tractor it and I hold R. It's not rotating at all. So I think the, they designed this just to be upright. You cannot rotate. If I can rotate it and just stick it into the titan it will be good but I, I can't so i can only send oh all right the alice officially fit on top of the titan that's confirmed and tested next ship is the animal terrapin i want to see if i can squeeze this thing through the side door here oh i, I don't think i can it's uh too high so the problem is, I think the width fits. The problem is the height. Alright, now the Nomad. Alright, the Nomad will fit this very well. You can put at least four. Four in here. Okay, so it is stable. It is stable. Very stable on the back of the Nomad. All right, the C1 Spirit. Nice. C1 Spirit does fit the Alice suit. Very nice. However, I will try the tractor beam, the ship tractor beam. See if I can rotate the Alice suit. So I'm using the C1 Spirit now. Tractor it. Lift it up. Hold R. Oh, I can't rotate this thing at all. All right, the colors black. Colors black fits no problem. Very nice. Okay, the next ship is a freelancer, and this is just a base freelancer. And I think it fits. The turret, yes. Whoa! I just tractored this thing 
from very far away. So I let's say you just spawn a ship. You open the the ramp and you get an atlas here. And you have so many cargoes in your freight elevator. For example, I just wanna put some cargo in the freelancer. I just grab it from that far away. And then I can just put it in here. Right there. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, take this out. Wow, using using the Alice to move cargo is actually quite easy. Quite easy. I haven't tried this on the Hercules yet, but I assume it's gonna be quite easy. So I can rotate. Oh, so you can hold R to rotate. You can see, you can rotate the preview until you got a snap. And then, give a little bit of challenge. Stand on the side a little bit. Okay, let's go. It's having trouble put it in. He's having trouble. I'm not gonna say that word again. But he's really having trouble. Oh, okay. Alright, so, like this. Now... Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, last ship I'm gonna try is the House C because this is going to be really useful for the House C if we can put one on board. See this elevator here. Oh. I can't just walk, walk sideways like this. Oh, I think it doesn't walk up the stairs. Let's use the max lift. Lift it up. Oh, I think uh, we got one on board. Yes, I think we did. Close. Oh, yes, it's good. And it's gone. All right, so next set of tests is going to get a little creative. Whoa. This thing is invincible. <laughs> but I doubt it will stay like this. Seiji probably will add health to this thing. It's probably going to be quite fragile. But as of right now, <laughs> this thing is invincible. All right, let's go to a bunker with it. First thing, we need to get through this door. Oh no, we can't get through this door. Nope, we can't. Okay, okay. There is a guy with a gun. Come on, shoot me. Don't run. Oh. Yes, somebody's shooting. Oh, I I can't get hurt. I can. Okay, this thing will not protect me. Oh, I'm getting hurt really bad. All right. One last thing I'm going to do before I end this video is I'm going to test if this suit can sustain a fall from a height. Ready? Let's drop. Drop, drop, drop! Dropped! Yes! I dropped! The Atlas drop suit. Okay. Almost touched down. Almost touched down. Yes! Whoa! I survived it! This is Titan Drop Suit 0 0.1 <laughs> or 1.0. I I survived it! Wow!